Good afternoon, everybody. Beautiful Monday afternoon we've got here. And uh, we have a few things to chat with you about today. Of course, the COVID numbers. Secondly, we're going to talk about the vaccination events that we had over this past weekend. And then thirdly, we've got a, a big announcement about future vaccination events. So then, of course, we're going to take your questions. Let's get to the numbers here. Our numbers are still pretty good. In the city of St. Louis, we are averaging right now 23 new cases per day. Uh, regionally, in the hospitals, there are 243 people in the hospital today. This number is two days old. 59 in the ICU and 36 on ventilators. Uh, seven day average of hospital admissions is 36 people uh, on average per day are being uh, admitted to the hospital. So those numbers are still good. The pandemic task force numbers uh, just came out a few minutes ago. And what you'll see here, and we'll post a link uh, to these as well, but what you'll see, and this is, if you just look to the, to the end of this, you see that we've plateaued here for the last couple of weeks. And so, um, you know, we'd like to see those numbers going down more than they are uh, so that we're on the right trajectory. Um, in terms of number of people being vaccinated, uh, over last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we had uh, big vaccination events. Thursday and Friday, we vaccinated uh, right at 6,600 people at Forest Park Community College over those two days. That was uh, um, uh, called a mega vaccination event. We put that on in cooperation with the state and the National Guard, uh, and then many, many of our volunteers from Webster, from St. Louis University, uh, people just across the city that are volunteering. Uh, that was a, a, a pretty smooth event. There were some long lines, uh, especially on Thursday, there were some long lines. And, it, you know, it really just comes from folks sort of regardless of their appointment time, you know, they just get up and they want to get there. And, and so the mornings are usually longer lines. But it, it was a good event despite, despite those lines. Um, we were able to keep everybody in out of the weather. And uh, on, on that Thursday, we vaccinated 3,600 and, no, 3,468 people, I think was the number. Yeah, 3,468. And then about 3,100 people on Friday. Then on Saturday, we had a, a, second, a second shot event, second vaccination event at the Omega Center on Goodfellow and Natural Bridge. Uh, we vaccinated about uh, 1,400 people there that day. They had gotten their first vaccination four weeks prior. Uh, and so we did that on, on Saturday. So very busy uh, week for our health department and our partners, but uh, a, a lot of people got vaccinations, which is, is terrific. Now, the big news is like this morning, the Biden administration and the governor and I announced that FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management uh, Agency, is going to have an eight week long vaccination event at the Dome in downtown St. Louis here. So it will begin uh, on April the 7th. So that's a week from Wednesday. They're getting set up. They're bringing a contingent of people to St. Louis. Uh, it will be every day, seven days a week, eight in the morning till six in the evening um, for the next eight weeks. We should be able to fully vaccinate over 100,000 people uh, over that eight week period of time. Some of the time will be Pfizer, some of the time will be J&J. &J. Pfizer, of course, is two shots, J&J &J is one shot. Uh, but but the, the good news is there'll be a lot of availability and it'll be seven days a week. So that uh, 56 days in a row of 3,000 shots a day, up to 3,000 shots a day. Now, how do you get in on that? How do you get signed up for that shot? If you're already on the city's list, 
we are going to combine our list with the state's list. If you are not already on our list, go ahead and sign up for the state's list and we're gonna post a link to that. It's very simple to do. So sign up for the state's list. Uh, and then there will be invitations coming out for you to then select uh, a time and appointment time to get the vaccination. Um, the, we, we think that that's going to be able to reach almost everybody in the city of St. Louis who wants a vaccination. And here's how I get to that. 300,000 people live in the city of St. Louis. About 60,000 of them are kids. She's got 240,000 adults in the city of St. Louis. We've already vaccinated close to 60,000 people, not quite. The state's website is showing a little over 50,000 people for first doses, but we know that last uh, Thursday and Friday aren't in there yet. So let's call it 56,000 people. So of the 240,000 people we've done, 56,000, hopefully we'll do another 100,000 people over this next eight weeks. And that's just through the FEMA site. We will continue to run public health sites. The hospitals are continuing to vaccinate people. The federally qualified health centers are continuing to vaccinate people. The Urban League had an event over this past weekend. So this eight week everyday event does not take the place of the other opportunities to get vaccinated. The, this is new vaccine it's being brought into the area, not coming out of the state's current allocation, which is running a couple hundred thousand doses a week. So um, it, it's, it's new uh, vaccinations, it's new vaccine. And so it really should give everybody the opportunity to get a vaccination right here close to home. Um, the, today, the state opened up the eligible categories to include many, many industries. And then next week on the 9th, it is, which I think is a Friday, uh, the state is going to open it up to all adults. So we're very, very close to having everyone eligible. By the time we get this mass, uh, this eight week vaccination event up and running next week, virtually everybody will be eligible, be able to get uh, a vaccination. So if you are not signed up on the city's list, go sign up on the state's list. You can sign up in both places, but definitely if you want to go to the dome, sign up on the state's list. Sign up on our list too, um, because there are other opportunities. But we're really trying to get everybody to be able to go somewhere convenient for them. This is this eight week uh, vaccination event is something that we've been working on for several weeks now. And uh, only two cities were announced today by the, by the Biden administration to get this sort of a, an offering, and it's us and Gary, Indiana, today. Now, they may be doing more, but we're, we're really uh, very pleased to be able to have this opportunity. So hope everybody uh, signs up and gets their vaccine. So that's all I have for today. Um, questions? Yeah, lots of questions today, mainly about the FEMA vaccination site. Mm -hmm. So first question from Alex, what was your reaction when you found out that the city had been able to secure a FEMA vaccination site in the city of St. Louis? Well, Alex, I was thrilled. Obviously, I've, I've known about this for a while. When I say a while, I'm talking a couple of weeks here, not, not real long. But um, we, you know, it takes a, a lot of coordination. I think it's a great opportunity for uh, the city of St. Louis and the people of the city of St. Louis to get their vaccine close to home. Uh, we got a question about what you hope the result will be out of being able to vaccinate more than 100,000 people over the course of a couple of weeks and what gaps you think that will help fill in the vaccine access in the urban areas? Well, first of all, the 100,000 people is not over a couple of weeks. It's over a couple of months. It's over eight weeks. But I think certainly the more people get vaccinated, the more we're likely to be able to drive down the, the virus that's out here operating in our community. We've driven it down already, but you see the plateau that's happening over the last couple of weeks. Um, and you hear that there are other states where the numbers are going up. And this is a bit of a race um, against the virus to get as many people vaccinated as possible. And so if there's anybody out there who's still 
is uh, hesitant, I hope that you'll talk to your friends and your neighbors, many of whom have probably already been vaccinated because we've had 55, 56,000 people already uh, vaccinated in the city of St. Louis, and and just uh, get in line to, to get your turn to, to get the vaccination. What role did the city and city officials play in being able to secure this federal resource coming to the city of St. Louis? Well, we're their partner. They're our part partner. So, um, you know, certainly I, I will uh, give the credit to, to uh, many others, but this is a partnership. The city will pro be providing services to this event. Um, and we'll, you know, we're, we're doing a call every single day about this event to make sure that it all stays coordinated. You talked about St. Louis getting announced today along with Gary, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to why the city of St. Louis might have been chosen? Was there a particular need for additional vaccine that allowed us to be the recipient of the FEMA assistance? One of the main factors is that we have a highly vulnerable population in the city of St. Louis. And the Biden administration, FEMA, the state, we're all trying to reach that vulnerable population. And that's why it's in the city of St. Louis. So that's the main reason, um, make it more convenient for people. The dome is a good location. There, there's a big space there. We're gonna be using a concourse. There's a big space there. We're gonna figure out how to make parking easy and uh, free. We are, uh, it's on a bus line, it's right next to a Metrolink stop. I mean, there are a lot of good things about the dome location that make it accessible to everybody. Question from Sarah Mayor. Uh, the last few months, the demand for vaccine has outpaced supply. Mm -hmm. With news of this event, do you see that trend continuing? Sarah, I don't know. I think the announcement of this event gives so many opportunities for people of St. Louis to get vaccinated. Uh, I certainly hope that people will get in uh, quickly because the sooner you get vaccinated, the better. And so get in quickly. Uh, 3,000 uh, shots a day is quite a bit. And uh, especially when you're talking about seven days a week, 21,000 shots a week. So get on the list and, and get in quickly question mayor about convincing the population to get the vaccine what is your best pitch for why somebody should get it really it, it's it's simple the best pitch for why somebody should get it is because it's going to keep you from getting really sick it's going to keep you from possibly spreading it to someone else who might get really sick and and that works because the more you tamp down the spread of the virus um, the fewer opportunities there are for people to get really sick and have bad outcomes. We know that these vaccines work. We know that there are very little side effects, maybe a sore arm. Um, and, and so it's really been, um, I think the more and more people who see their friends, neighbors and relatives get vaccinated, the more people do it. I talked with a woman on Saturday who was getting her second vaccination at the Omega Center and she said, yeah, I'm trying to convince my brother. And I don't know her age. I'm going to guess she was 40 to 50. So maybe her brother is a similar age. And she says, yes, I'm, I'm going to tell him I had no problems with the first vaccine and I'm not expecting any problems today. She had just gotten her second shot and she was sitting in the, in the waiting area. Uh, you have to wait about 15 minutes and then you can leave just to make sure you don't have any adverse effects. But I think it really works not because I say you should get the vaccine. I think it works because your friend, your neighbor, your relative says, I got it. Would you please get it? I don't want you to get sick. I don't want you to anything to happen to you. Um, so get it for yourself and get it for other people in your families. So piggybacking off of that, we did get a question from Jim who asked of, of the events we've had so far uh, in the city for a vaccine, have any, has anybody had any serious adverse reactions at one of the events? No life-threatening adverse reactions. We always have medical personnel at these events in case anyone has a reaction. Um, but that's that's just I can't say the word today precautionary. Um, and so anybody who has um, any sort of a reaction at all, we have EMTs there. We have an ambulance there, just in case. 
So we got two questions, but about the same thing. Cindy and Kristen are asking about the second dose event for this weekend at Carpenters Hall. Mm -hmm. Can they expect to receive their invitation to come get their second shot? Yes, you can, Cindy. And Cindy and who? Kristen. Cindy and Kristen. Yes, you can expect middle of the week to get an email or a text message inviting you back to Carpenters Hall this weekend. If for any reason you don't get that, like maybe it goes to your spam folder, maybe there's a typo on your email and it bounces, bring your card to Carpenters Hall this weekend, Saturday, to get your second dose. Um, I recommend coming in the afternoon if you don't have an appointment, just because we know that mornings are crazy. Uh, Joanna has a question about the percentage of residents who have been vaccinated in the city. Mm -hmm. Does that number include the number of people who have had to drive outside city limits mm -hmm. to receive their vaccine? Yes, Joanna, it's my understanding that it does because this is based off of your home address, not where you received the vaccination, but on where you live. So that's how that's counted. Dan's question is about our vaccination events. Dan is 71 and he's had back surgery. If he's coming to a city event, do I have to stand in a long line to be able to get a shot? No, Dan, you don't. If, uh, you know, this past weekend and, and each time, if we have anyone who has mobility issues, uh, self-defined, then you can get dropped off at the front door. We have a special line for people that might uh, not be able to walk or stand or might need a walker might need a wheelchair um so we we feed folks in to the line based on their uh availability i think that's all the questions i have for today mayor that's all you guys are going easy on me i gotta tell you i'm so excited about the opportunity we have here for this eight weeks seven days a week 56 days in a row FEMA event. I think it's going to be a real game changer for the people of St. Louis. So please get on the list, sign up. We're posting it. Uh, we've already posted it once today. We'll be posting it several times. Uh, if you know someone who doesn't have internet access, either help them. If you have the internet access, most of you who are watching on Facebook probably do. Help your neighbor, help your relative register based on the internet access. But for someone who really has no way to do this over the internet there's a phone number to call and it is 877-435-8411 877-435-8411 uh, for someone who has no uh, ability to register online so that's it i think this is a real exciting development that that we're able to announce today and next Wednesday, it'll be up and running. So thank you all. Appreciate you being here. And we'll talk with you again in a few days. Thanks. Bye-bye.